Former England goalkeeper Rachel Brown Finnis has just said that this could have been a dress rehearsal for the final. Do you think it was? <laughs> I mean, I hope so. But um, I think, obviously, as Mark said, like Sweden are favourites, one of the favourites, England, obviously, as well, up there. And I think we can give anyone a good game on our day. Um, I like to say that we're the black horses and uh, we can just enjoy our tournament. But we just need to recover for Wednesday and yeah, get three points then. Absolutely not. I think if um, if you look at our first 15, 20 minutes, I think we can be extremely proud that we got a point today. Um, as I said before, Sweden are probably one of the favourites. That's what I've heard all week. That's the role they probably need to take because they have that much quality. And I think we can just be really happy and proud with a point today. Ah, oh, so pleased. Um, obviously, in the first half, we had a lot of contact on the patch going in. For halftime, obviously a lot of emotions come in, like even, I don't know how Steve played 90 minutes no. to be honest, but um, yeah, you kind of just get together. I think that feeling just kind of creates yeah a togetherness, obviously, like you miss two players out there, Marissa and Daphne come in and they've probably played the game of their life today, um, which is just amazing for the team and it will help us farther along in the tournament hopefully as well. Um, yeah, just really proud of the team today. And that was only Daphne's second appearance. How impressed you with how she stepped up? Uh, she done really well, like with the corners, obviously she had to save in the end as well. Um, I think she's got a great role model in Sari, she's been training with her a lot. I think Daphne is ready for it and obviously I hope that Sari will be able to return, which might be very optimistic. But um, yeah, Daphne done really, really well today. I did, it was a lot of running though, to be fair today. But um, I think obviously in the first step, I knew that I had to drop deep, get the ball and basically cover a lot of meters myself and then hope that the rest would come after. Um, I think in the second half, obviously with the likes of Lynette and Vicky coming in, that gave us extra energy. And I also know that then I can drop deeper and yeah, create, create chances and I can do both and I'll just do whatever Mark tells me to do. He'll like hearing that. Don't really feel it to be honest. Um, I think obviously, like my role is, it's not really been changed over the last couple of years. Like I want to do well for the team. I think today, as Mark said, you probably seen me play a wee bit different <laughs> as what I normally do. Um, and I've just really enjoyed that. I love being away with the team. And I think, yeah, today really showed that we can grow into this tournament. Hopefully, to be fair, like I've obviously not really seen that much before the game, but um, my mom and dad were part of it, so. They said it was amazing. Um, I think I've said it so many times before, like our fans are probably the best fans. Um, playing tonight, obviously, like there were a lot of Swedish fans as well, which was amazing. I think the atmosphere was amazing for both teams. And yeah, we we're really lucky to have those fans with us. Yeah, first half, uh, I think it was tough, but we got some good moments when we played our possession football. Just wasn't enough. And then defending, yeah, when we were compact, it was okay, but the spaces were quite big. Uh, for large periods, which meant Viv and others had to do too much running. And because they did, uh, the game was pretty tight. And of course, disappointed with that goal. I think nil-nil, we feel OK. Second half, much better. And uh, we dared to play. But there's more to come there. Um, there's more to come in, in bringing our attacking qualities. Because yeah, it was fun to see when Viv and others got the ball, Sweden just wanted to drop. And they were afraid. And yeah, we, we got to be uh, braver to get those moments, of course. But when you lose your captain and you lose a centre-back, yeah, the mindset and the emotions is, is, is can be all over the place. But everyone stayed calm. Yeah, four shots on target for both. Disappointed that we couldn't get a couple more chances because we had them on the ropes in the second half. Yeah, we take the point, put Viv in the fridge, recover, get ready for next game. You said that Sweden were a bit afraid. Um, did that surprise you? Uh, Sweden are a very, very good team. Yeah, I think probably joint favourites of this tournament. What I mean by that, because you can grab that, I meant when Di when Viv and others got the ball, they did probably what what I would do if I was on that side is is close uh, take the the depth out, uh, drop off and keep uh, uh, away from central areas and inside the sixteen. So that's that's what I meant. Not not yeah, Sweden don't play uh, scared. I think they're a very brave team and high energy team. And our job is, yeah, foundation of working hard was good. Um, defending when we're compact was good. And uh, we knew we we're going to have to grow into the tournament. And now we look forward to being better with the ball and creating more chances. How are Sari and Anit doing? Yeah, not great. Uh, just seen them. Uh, we'll find out a bit more tonight, maybe tomorrow. Uh, not great is as far, and it's the only thing I, I can say, because I don't know anymore. I've just got 
two players in tears um, who are very proud of the team, of what they did tonight.